Great day, great time, science explorers. Are you ready to learn and discover more about science? Wonderful! Once again, I am Teacher Dayan, and welcome to our first lesson in Science Grade 5. Today, you will be able to know the importance of label in identifying useful and harmful materials. This is very important for you to know how to classify and use things or materials properly. Now, let's look around. Can you see different things around you? Yes, those things that you can see, all things that you can see are cold matter. Exactly, you heard it right. Those are matters. There are different materials found at home. These are important because they are used in our daily activities such as cooking tool, cleaning our houses, treating ailments, for personal hygiene, and many more. It is important to know their different properties so that we can identify whether a certain material is harmful or useful. In this module, you will be able to explain the importance of labels in identifying useful and harmful materials. Please get your module and open it on page 1. What I know Directions Classify each household product according to its use. Write D for personal care. F for food product. M for medicine. C for cleaning product and PE for pesticides. 1. Bleach. 2. Canned goods. C. 3. Face powder. 4. Paracetamol. 5. Shampoo. 6. Insecticide spray. 7. Toothpaste. 8. Bread. 9. Calf syrup. 10. Dish washing liquid. Now, turn your module on page 2. What's in? Direction. Identify the following whether the material is useful or harmful. Write U for useful or H for harmful. Number 1. Drink batteries. 2. Old newspapers. 3. Fruit peelings. 4. Shattered glass. 5. Expired medicine. For the next activity on page 2, what's new? The direction is Study the picture below and match the common product labels to its corresponding product. Okay, for number one, which common product label correspond the product plastic bottles? Choose your answer. For number two, what common label correspond for Moriatic acid. For number three, what common label correspond for commercial fertilizer? Next, for number four, what common label corresponds for alcohol? And last, for number five, what common product corresponds for food products? Okay, now let's discuss your module briefly. Various household products are found in our homes. These are composed of different materials with different properties. It is therefore important for consumers to read product labels. Through product labels, 
consumers become aware of whether the product is harmful or not. Useful materials are those that can be used for other purposes, can be recycled, can be dumped straight into a landfill, and something can be recovered from it. Harmful materials, on the other hand, are toxic to us, can cause injury, cannot be dumped straight into a landfill, can pollute the environment, and take too much time to decompose. Expiration dates and hazardous designs are some of the most important elements in a product label. Some products are flammable such as paints and therefore must be stored away from open flames. Others are corrosive like muriatic acid so it is advisable to keep it away from children's reach. Pesticides Fertilizers and muriatic acids are poisonous if not handled properly. Reading product labels can help you identify whether the product is useful or harmful. These simple symbols and labels give ideas on how to use and store the product properly. And in order to help prevent accidents from happening and therefore save lives. The following are the common signs in product labels which can help consumers decide whether the product is useful or harmful. This is our first symbol. Halal. It means the product is certified as safe for consumption for our Muslims. Next symbol. Food Allergen Warning This symbol warns consumers of ingredients in the product that may cause allergy. Next, Recyclable This symbol means products can be recycled. Next, Flammable Flammable means can easily catch fire. For example, kerosene. Next symbol, poisonous. When we say poisonous, it is harmful to the body and may cause death. Next, corrosive. Corrosive means it can cause severe burns. Okay, on page 5, what's more? Direction. Copy and complete the table below. Identify whether the household material is useful or harmful. Then determine the product label that would help you identify its category. The first one is done for you. Okay, for, for number 1, the household material is muriatic acid. Muriatic is useful or harmful? Yes, it is harmful. And the product label where muriatic acid belongs is corrosive or poisonous. When we say corrosive children, it may cause or it can cause severe burns. Okay, so you may now answer number 2, 3, 4, and 5. For your assessment on page 6 to 7 of your module, you are going to put a check mark if the statement is correct and cross mark if not. That is for letter A. And for letter B, you are going to read each situation below and choose the best answer. You are going to encircle the letter or write the letter of the correct answer.